right, legends, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about transitions. Now, transitions are these cool effects that segue between two clips. So let's go ahead and I'll just play this and we'll get a quick example. Okay, that took way too long. Okay, so first things first when dealing with transitions is that I want to change the time duration. So I'm gonna go up here to preferences and I'm gonna change the duration from two seconds to one second and I'm gonna close that out. Now, how you find transitions in Final Cut Pro 10 is it, it blah, blah, blah. Now, how you find your transitions in Final Cut Pro 10 is right over here in your browser. You're going to click on this little icon right here, right to the left of your title stuff. So it kind of looks like an envelope. So what I'm going to do, and by default, you have a default transition. So what you're going to want to do is you can go ahead and drag your playhead in between two clips. And I'm going to hit command T on my keyboard as a keyboard shortcut. So just like that. Now it's gonna add a transition. And this is gonna look pretty clean. So it's illegal to take I like that. With transitions, to me, it's kind of like less is more. You don't want your transitions to like dominate the storyline. You don't want them to stand out too much. Another way to add transitions is to uh, click on the whole clip in general and hit Command T again. Now it's gonna add a transition to both the beginning and the end of it, just like that. So what I'm gonna do is to get rid of it, just click on it and hit delete, just like that. And by default, that default transition is called, I believe, crossfade or cross dissolve. But if you wanna to go to any of your transitions, sorry, but if you wanna to go to any of your transitions over here, you can go ahead and right click on them and you can see how it says make default just like that. Now play around with your transitions, but keep in mind, transitions are kind of like a less is more approach thing. You don't wanna have like an eight second transition with all these like stars and lights and all this bright stuff going off. Um, you don't want it to stand out too much. You don't want your audience to look at your your movie, your video, what you're doing and have your transitions catch their eye overpowering the story. Um, so play around with them. They've got different categories. You can just right click. I'm sorry. You can just scroll over each transition. See, this is goofy. I would never use this arrows thing. Um, curtains looks kind of like a very beginner's approach. You know, there's no right or wrong. I'm just kind of particular. Um, and that's it. And then if you wanted to not use the keyboard shortcut tool, you can go up here and I'll just click on all. Let's see what we got circle. So I'll just go ahead and drag this and I'll drop it in between two of my clips, just like that. So that's kind of the gist. And um, so it's illegal to text you. I like it. Um, make sure your clips are long enough too. If you've got like small little one second or one to, one to two second clips and you've got all these one to two second transitions, between them, it's not gonna work out. Um, Final Cut Pro also has a disclaimer that kicks back and lets you know that like this transitions too much, it's gonna eat away at the project, you wanna go with it anyways, uh, yes or cancel. So that's kind of the short of it. I'm gonna talk about audio only transitions. I'm gonna talk about customizing and creating our own transitions. Hopefully this made sense. Kind of go ahead and play around with it. Again, there's no right or wrong, but I like keeping my Transitions very kind of silent. I don't want like the sparkles to go off um, and duration wise. I do not want them more than two seconds. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck with this. We'll talk about transitions in the next video and we'll create our own. Good luck. And uh, it's midnight my time. So everybody have a good night and I'll see you guys in the morning.